Barracuda Shoals was a turning point, with Governor Blade transforming thousands of sailors and pirates into zombies and gaining absolute power. It's incredible to hear what happened that day from somebody who was actually there. And even after such a tragedy, the world remained oblivious to the danger it was in. We happened to have some good luck come our way. Our friend Zhu gave Tracy a new sailing ship. With that, and with Wei Feng on our side, we were the only ones facing the oncoming zombie attack. But they were too many, and Feng valiantly sacrificed himself. That was the only way we could escape and keep his son Zhu safe. We fled feeling uncertain, knowing that our challenge had now become harder and more desperate than ever before. We need to get to the rock before they catch up to us. We need a safe place to lick our wounds and figure out what it is we need to do next. Tracy described this hiding place to me, and it just makes me wonder. If Blade is determined to take over every inch of the sea, is it still that safe? I don't want to even think about it. If we had to run away from there, then I wouldn't know where to go next. We shouldn't let that get to us. We'll find a solution, you'll see. We can't let our emotions go down. I think Jojo's already lost hope. Ever since we escaped, he's kept to himself without saying a word. I can't take it anymore, Jim. I feel so much hate inside for all this evil we've faced. For Blade and for Shadow. It's burning inside me like a fire. I see Zhu, who's standing there dealing the loss of his father and the other men of his clan with such dignity, but I... I'm not strong like him. I just can't do it. We've all been hurt by this terrible adventure, and there are times where it feels like it's just too much for us to handle. But we move on. You'll see, Jojo, you will too. I don't want to let go of my anger. I want to find a way to use it to make sure that those who pay for what they've done, we can't let them go unpunished. But you know that's not the way, Jojo. If you let that anger build, it will blind you. I know. And my mother made me promise not to let myself fall into a trap like that. I can still hear her last words to me. I know all that, Jim, but they've just done so many terrible things, you know? You can't blame me for feeling that way. I don't want kind words, and I don't want attention, affection, nothing. I just want justice, and it seems no one can give it to me. Why are you still awake? Because I couldn't sleep. Jim, I need to ask for your help. You can ask me anything. If I can do it, I will. You see, the more I think about the promise to my mother, the more my anger and hatred keep growing. It's crazy. And I feel foolish and useless. You have to have patience with yourself. When your feelings are that strong, they aren't easy to control. And that's the problem. You can't stop feeling them. And tonight, while I was trying to fall asleep, I started to remember my father. And I remembered what he used to say about the buffalo. They stay in a herd, and if they happen to see a hunter, they all chase after him together, and then they become unstoppable. So the hunter has to dig a large hole, and then when they're chasing him, he makes sure they run straight into it. So he uses their uncontrollable rage to capture them. So you're saying that your anger and hatred are just like the buffalo? What do you say? I'm like a furious herd, and if I'm not careful, then I'll become paralyzed and helpless because of it. That's why I need you to help me build a trap. You want to build a trap to catch your hatred? Well, if there's a way we can do that, then we're gonna find it. I'll check inside the codex. You won't have to deal with this alone. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Hidden treasure! Ah! Five degrees to port, Miss Stanton. <sighs> Uh. 
Whoever you are, I hope for your sake that this is important enough for you to interrupt me. My lord, there's a man who's asking for you. Hmm. I told him you didn't want to be disturbed, but he says this is an important matter. He says that he's just landed and come directly from Lisbon. Send him in. Monsignor Kuna, finally. When I received your letter, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw your name. How long has it been, my friend? So if you're here, it must mean you've brought what I asked you for. Yes, and don't think it was easy for me. I was able to get access only because of my prior knowledge and because... And you would be handsomely rewarded. This is the oldest collection of ancient magical spells. It's a prohibited text. If I had been caught with it, I surely would have been sent to the gallows. However, be warned, it's a book about demonology. The secrets within come from centuries of mankind's struggle against truly evil forces. And now that you're satisfied, there's the matter of the gold you promised. I was just wondering when I could. You know how I work. Mm. I will always keep my word. Ah. Always. But I wish you could stay here and help me. There have been some questions on my mind that have troubled me. My dear old friend, I'd be happy to lend you my experience and knowledge, now that you know my price. Of course. But you must be tired from your travels and accommodations are ready for you. Later, I will explain everything to you. Ben, you smell like you haven't had a really good bath in a long time. When Ben Gunn was alive, he would always take a bath, and he was very clean. But then Ben became a ghost. He didn't know that ghosts sometimes need to take a bath, too. Now this is the life for me. It reminds me of the good old days in Tortuga. Between the good food, the fine rum, and happy friendships, those were good times. <sighs> yes, they were good times when the Wei Clan pillaged the high seas and laid down the law. But now I'm the only one left, and I don't feel like there's much honor in choosing to abandon my people now. You were ready to fight with your father, but remember, he forced us to save you. A very noble gesture, and that can never reflect poorly on your honor. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Jojo, I know you're going through a hard time. Let us try to help you. If you want to help me, then give me justice. If you can't, then leave me alone. For the love of Uncle Neptune, I offer you kids shelter in this paradise, and all you want to do is worry about him? Can you come over here and say something to these two to cheer him up? Huh? Jim? Where on earth did he go? He who falls into the pit of hatred can no longer scale its walls. In vain, he tries to return to the light, but the power of one single person will not be enough to lift this weight. Hmm? Found anything? Uh, I think I might have. But what the Codex says on this page is really confusing. It's saying that one person doesn't have enough strength to help somebody else. Mama used to say that her magic didn't come from her, but from every person in the whole world. She said she was a doorway. A doorway? Well, let's see what we can find out about that. To channel all of the energy of every person. How would you do that? Here it speaks of a wheel of light that's obtained through the power of hands together. What do you say? Should we go talk to the others? I've been told that your former accomplice arrived from Lisbon today. Did he bring you what you asked for? Yes. These books are just as useful as the Kodak Indicus. Possibly more powerful. What about your accomplice? Are you sure he doesn't know why you needed it? I assure you that Kuna will not be a problem, my mm -hmm. lord. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Oh, but surely this gentleman is Lord Blade. You have my highest and most sincere respect, Governor. Allow me to welcome you, Mr. Kuna. I hope you enjoy your stay. Please forgive me. I have other things to tend to. Please feel free to make yourself at home. I wanted to discuss future plans with you. I have something special to show you that will be well worth your time. I can't wait. <laughs> 
Back in business together, just like in the old days. A secret passage? But where does it lead? Can't you tell me something about what it is you want to show me? A little patience, Monsignor. Soon you will know everything. I'm about to show you a secret, unstoppable force. One that will bring the whole world to its knees. <sighs> what is this devilry you've unleashed? An army of the undead, under the command of Lord Blade. An army that cannot be destroyed by any gun or sword. One that will conquer the world! No, this is the work of the devil. I can't do this! Ah! You've already helped more than you realize. The books you brought were all I needed to complete this grand plan. But unfortunately, your services are no longer needed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> But, but, wait! No! You can't just leave me! No! Ah! Ah! You found the land I was looking for. Bravo! Blue Raven, you flew to the southwest. Now everybody, listen to me, please. There's something we have to do together. Something similar to what we did the last time we all came here, remember? Before we went to Africa. Do you mean Jojo is going to do more of his magic? It won't just be Jojo doing magic. We all will have to do it together this time. Uh. Huh? Jim, none of us have those powers like Jojo or Kanda. Never mind, Miss Stanton. You should know by now that it's useless to try to reason with the captain. So let's go along with it and get it over with. Long John, that's enough. If you're not serious, you'll ruin the whole thing. Long John always helps his friends. I just don't understand how this helps. My heart is being devoured by anger and hatred, so I'm betraying the oath I made to my mother. This magic could be my last hope, or I'll fall into darkness. I don't want you to fall into darkness. And you won't fall. Not with all of us around. Your crew will never let you fight alone. We'll follow the instructions in the Codex. It says that Jojo is enslaved by his hatred and it's building inside like water in a well, which he can't climb out of. If Ben were here, he would understand. He'd say we have to form a human chain to pull Jojo out of the well. It's kind of like that. In a way, all we have to do is hold hands. Hang on tightly, Ben. And this is when we play Ring Around the Rosie. Oh, what? I just thought I would try to break the tension. We don't want to diffuse the tension. We want to channel it. Put it into the circle. Let's let the energy pass between us, through our hands, through our minds, and through our hearts. Uh. Try to concentrate on Jojo, like we really have to save him and pull him out of a well. Close your eyes and think about Jojo, about yourself, and what unites us. May Jojo escape the well so that he sees a bright sun and a blue sky outside. Ben Gunn used to be strong. Ben could raise Jojo. I think I'm starting to feel a little something. A strong warmth. I don't think I feel anything. Yes, you can, Long John. We're all counting on you, too. Just concentrate. You can do it, you salty pirate. Yes. I face furious oceans and tremendous battles. I'm sure I can do this. I believe in Jojo, and he's even stronger than his hatred. Jojo is light. He is joy, happiness. I don't really know what just happened to me, but I think I've come back to the light. We were able to bring Jojo back. Yes, he's back to normal. You kids really do make a great crew. Great crew, great crew. Ah. Sure, the Codex might have pointed us in the right direction, 
but it was Jojo's strength that did all the work. I felt the presence of my mother, and now I know. I know for sure. Mama Kane is alive! Uh -huh. <gasps> we all wish that that was true, Jojo, but you shouldn't get your hopes up. But I know it's true. I heard her voice when she hugged me. I wish that was the truth, my friend. But no matter how much we want that, these thoughts can deceive. I believe you. And if you think she's still alive, then we have to find her. Even if it was true, how would we ever find her? Kanda will surely guide our way. Now be prepared to set sail in the morning. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe there's some hope that Kanda's still alive. But when we get out to sea, there's a whole army of black sails that'll be hunting for us. We're all aware of that. But we came here to decide which place we were going to sail next. And now we have it. All right? Let's vote. Who's with me? Aye! Aye. Hmm. It's fine. If the crew wants to swim in shark-infested waters, the first mate will too. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, come and see. Everyone, come look at this. Look out there, black sails all around us. Well, looks like I was wrong about going into shark-infested waters. I'd say we're already in them. Shadow was right about this place. This island isn't shown on this route in any of the other maps. It certainly seems impenetrable, which is what would make it an ideal retreat. Just have to discover its secrets and then Silver and Hawkins will be mine. Of all ships around the island. How did they find out where we were hiding? That doesn't matter. What's important is figuring out how to escape. Our ship is faster than all of theirs combined. Yes, but we have to find a way to get past that whole blockade. One cannonball from them and we'll be at the bottom of the sea. Let's use the secret tunnel that leads down to the lagoon. That cliff is so steep and treacherous that perhaps the zombies won't even be able to climb their way up. But it would only be a matter of time before we could be trapped in there. I'd rather go on fighting than be caught like a mouse. Well, we have to do something quickly or we're going to be caught either way. We have to think harder and try to come up with a way to escape where they won't be able to follow us. Then what do you suggest we do? Grow a pair of wings and fly away like a bird? Men cannot fly! Uh, men flying! Uh. I don't know how to do magic, but one of us does. You could use the secret force to help us get away from here, am I right? Now hold on, Jim. I'm not the kind of witch doctor my mother is. I don't begin to have the kind of gift she had. But you do have your own strength. There's something inside you the rest of us don't have. Jim is right. Last night we gave you all of our energy. But you were the one who actually used it. And you can do it again this time, to save everyone. And I think you can do it again too. You know that, uh, I'm not really the type who believes in magic, but if anyone around here can do it, it's you. Well, if I can get that old pirate Long John to say he believes in me, then I will see if I'm able to contact my mother. Mama Kanda! I call to the great beyond for you to help us! Mama Kanda! I know you're alive and that you can hear me! She heard me! I see something out there! Yeah. What is it? A fog! So thick during this kind of weather. I've never seen this before! It's Mama! She sent us this fog as a cover to help us make our escape! And now we're going to use it! Hurry! It's time for us to get the heck out of here! Of course, this fog had to arrive at the same time we did. But it certainly won't be enough to help them get away. Stay in formation and light every lantern you have on board. Every ship should be able to see each other. They will not escape us.
We'll have to move in between them and just hope that the fog will prevent any of them from seeing us. Yes, but that'll be hard because we can't see them either. Fog or no fog, no one can see Ben because Ben is a ghost. Ah, Ben is a ghost. Ah, We'd better ben silence ghost. that bird. Come to me, Flint. I'll protect you from those nasty zombies. Here it comes. Everybody get ready. Jojo, Crow's Nest! I can see one! Starboard side! It's very close to us, but it's our best chance to break the blockade. Take us 20 degrees to port and be steady! <sighs> Would have been fish food. Huh? Hurry! Turn us starboard! Come stand by me! Keep us on this course. We'll stay on route. Take us starboard. We can't let them escape. Keep your eyes wide open, Jojo. We're in your hands. There's more fog than before. This is supposed to help us? It's thicker than Neptune's beard. Take us 45 degrees to starboard. <sighs> to the port side. We have to go in the middle of those two ships. That way, if we get lucky, they won't see us until it's too late for them to stop us. Right in the middle. That's good, Tracy. Right there. Attack them. <laughs> Do not let them pass. No, this time they won't make it. Go! Full speed ahead! Stand by. Here come the other ships. Fire! Mm. Keep us going! Take a starboard! No, prepare the cannons! And fire! Huracan, you must have let them get away, but why? You can try to keep me away from my vengeance before I have completed your mission, but I will have it, no matter what the cost. Well, the governor's not quite the hunter he thinks he is. We've outsmarted him this time, too. Then what you've been saying must be true. Mama Kanda is alive, and she's protecting us with her magic. Then we'll just have to go and thank the good lady in person, won't we? All sails to the wind! Full speed! All sails to the wind! The pirate.